Hello, my name is Hector G for UrbanLime.com and today we're going to be reviewing the Cabino Weather Station. The Cubino Weather Station enables you to set up your Z-Wave hub in a way that will allow your smart devices to respond to climate events and changes. It has been the missing link that can help you create all climate related scenes in your smart home. The weather station kit includes a USB key, a user's manual, two thermal hydrometers for the purpose of gathering temperature and humidity data. It also includes an anemometer, which is just a fancy scientific name for a wind sensor. It also comes with a separate rain sensor. The sensors transmit all collected data to the weather station USB key by wireless RF. This is done in different frequencies for different regions. The wireless RF has a range of up to 100 meters in an open area, while the Z-Wave range is up to 30 meters indoors, depending on the building materials. The weather station comes with pre-installed batteries, as seen here. Upon the initial installation, you must open all the units by removing screws with a Phillips head screwdriver and discarding the clear plastic tab that protects the unit from wasting batteries while in its packaging. You must do this on all sensors. The weather station is capable of gathering 10 measurements by default. It receives data for temperature, wind chill, velocity, wind gust, wind direction, humidity, rain rate, and a battery level for each sensor. A bonus is, it is also designed to act as a repeater in order to improve the range of your stability of your Z-Wave network. The rain gauge requires a little more setup than the other sensors. You must install the rainfall measurement mechanism that comes taped inside the unit to avoid damage as seen here. Also note that there's a bubble level inside the unit. This level is used to make sure that the unit is in level ground as it is required for proper operation. The installation of the anemometer is fairly simple with the use of brackets included. It can be done with just a screwdriver. It's important to note that the manual states the official mounting location for anemometers is 10 meters or 33 feet above ground level in a clear, unobstructed location. Once we placed all our sensors outdoors in their respective locations, we began the pairing with the SmartThings hub. This is where things get a little tricky. The inclusion of this module to your Z-Wave network is a little cumbersome on the SmartThings hub. Our weather station came from the smartesthouse.com which offered a link to the SmartThings Hub custom device handler that is required for installation. Note that for standard devices such as light switches, this step is not required, so this differs from standard Z-Wave device installation. We proceed to visit the site as indicated and copy the entire text displayed in the box. This text is just a set of instructions so that the SmartThings Hub knows what to do with the new information you're about to give it. Log in to your SmartThings page and navigate to the My Device Handlers tab. Select Add One Now. You will be sent to the Device Handlers Edition page. Select the From Code tab and paste the data from your clipboard into this box and click Create. Once created, you need to select the Publish button and then select For Me from the drop down that appears. At this point, you should be ready to add your device. Now open up the SmartThings app on your smartphone and add a thing. Once it's looking for devices, plug in your USB key to power. The auto inclusion works for about 5 seconds after connected to the power supply. It doesn't have to be on the SmartThings hub, but since we had an open port, we decided to use that one. Your weather station should appear within a minute or two. Click OK to confirm the pairing. Notice that there is no data at this point. The weather station sends data about once a minute from what we could tell. This is the rain gauge that collects water and based on the rate of water flow, it is able to determine the amount of rain. The anemometer measures the wind speed and direction. This screenshot here shows how the data is reported on the SmartThings mobile app. We enjoyed working with the Cabino Weather Station. The build materials seem good overall and everything you need is included to get you going quickly. The installation, while a little different from the usual, was not that difficult if the directions are followed. Once the device is in your hub, it functions just as expected. 
You can take this a bit further by creating custom triggers that handle events in your home, which is what makes this product exciting to own. The weather station currently retails for $200. It's also important to note that at the time that we made this video, the Kubino weather station is only supported by Homeseer, the SmartThings Hub, Zipato Zippa Box, and the Zipato Zippa Tile. Our tests were all conducted with the SmartThings Hub. If your hub is not mentioned, you may want to check with the manufacturer for support. Many manufacturers such as Vera will add support if enough users want that feature.